by beating Scarborough in the first round of the FA Cup. They started this game quite intelligently. Steve Harper there making the run down the wing. Now Ian Misham looking for Steve Penny. Penny with a useful cross into the box. Good header in to just wide of the post. And Burnley's chance of getting an early strike went away. John Bond, remember, not here at this game, and he nearly saw or heard his side go in front, only some excellent defending from Pender, keeping the shoes at bay. This game had very few opportunities or chances, but Marlon Beresford handed Shrewsbury one with a dreadful mistake, picking up the ball from the back pass by Joe Jacob. Remember the new rule, not allowing that. He knows it, and so does Shrewsbury. And that's a free kick inside the box for the Midlands club. A great opportunity then for Shrewsbury to take the lead. And watch for the red-haired Tommy Lynch to come through and strike this effort. After Adrian Heath has been pushed back a little farther. Here goes Tommy Lynch. Great stop from Beresford. He redeemed himself for the mistake of picking up the back pass second half now and these two sides producing very rare and few chances but they produced the incident of the game a hit or tub whatever you made of it from Dean Spink and Mr Watson having no hesitation here at all Roger Eli perplexed on the ground Eli back for a, a first appearance at Turf Moor and Dean Spink on his first appearance is sent off Shrewsbury captain there, not happy about that decision. It's from that replay, we have nothing to complain about. Then they then nearly took the lead from that free kick. Adrian Heath, Harper and John Deary who broke away with the ball and struck it in, just nearly providing the opening goal of the game. It was a sweeping move though that did provide the opening goal. Five or six players involved for Shrewsbury here. Carl Griffiths, the man who scores it, had an early touch. Then out to number eight, Howard Clark. Then Mark Taylor on the left wing, teasing his way past the Amisham. In comes the header from Griffiths, who followed up the move. And a splendid goal from Shrewsbury to take the lead. Burnley now needing some sort of miracle with the time starting to run out. Shrewsbury with the lead, but Burnley with a late, late show. Here's Steve Penny who had an excellent game setting Ian Meesham on the left, on the right rather. Roger Eli showing his persistence on that touchline, wins the free kick. Mark Blake the offender this time. from this free kick, an excellent header from Conroy, two headers in this game and two goals, Conroy's probably the better of the two. One more then, and Burnley had visions of stealing this game. They also had two or three late chances to do that as well, Joe Jacob hoofing the ball up for the route one effort. Burnley finally deciding that it would be better to play the ball on the floor. Steve Davis doing just that. Then the long cross. Conroy in again. This time super save from the Shrewsbury keeper, Paul Edwards. Edwards certainly the busier of the two keepers as the half finished. Steve Harper teasing his way. Joe Jacob providing the steady ball back to Harper to provide the cross but Roger Eli really should have finished super stop again from Paul Edwards. Burnley though with very few seconds left on the clock continued to press. Steve Davis again starting the move, little but to hit and hope. Steve Penny though providing the class on the wing. Cracking cross from Penny, it'll finally fall for Steve Harper and watch this turn, a bit of luck but then the shot had no look on it at all. The wrong side of the post from Harper.